we have two questions here from the chapter similar triangle that uses the concept of circle. Now, as you can see that uh, the informations in this, like uh, we are two chords given here, they are intersecting within the circle. And uh, in this case, the chord so formed that is A, B and C, D, they meet, but outside the circle at point P. Well, the two proof part remains the same that here also we have to prove two triangles similar and the triangles are same only. Now, if I see the first part here, in the first part, we have to prove two triangles similar and the triangles that we need to prove is so this triangle need to prove similar to this here. And on the other side, I can see we need to prove this triangle that is uh, the triangles we need to prove. One is this, right? one is this, and the other we have to prove is that, uh, that's the bigger one, that means this triangle. So we are going to use this property of, uh, we are going to use this property that is angle-angle uh, similarity condition. Let's say if I consider the first figure here, this one, or what you can see over here that uh, we can write two angles as equal that is this angle will be equal to this that is angle a is equal to angle d and similarly angle c is equal to angle b that is from tangent from same x uh, sorry not tangent from six to exterior point is angle in the same segment so we can say that is angle a is equal to angle d and similarly angle c in this triangle is equal to angle b and that is by same segment, angle in the same segment. Now, once you uh, write these two angles equal, we can say the triangles similar, that is triangle here, which is triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle. A corresponds to what? D, right? This is important to remember that we have to write in correspondence and uh, B corresponds to P only, well, C corresponds to B. That is similar by angle-angle similarity condition, AA. Now, once you prove the two triangles similar, you can write their sides as proportional. So the proportionality, we, we can write AP, that's AP over DP should be equal to PC over BP. Now, from here, if you do cross multiplication, what do you get? You get AP into BP is equal to DP into PC. And I, this is what we need to prove over here. Now, look into the other question here. In this question, we know that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to its interior opposite angle. That is actually derived from the cyclic quadrilateral property. That is, cyclic quadrilateral property says that Opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. From there, you can see that this angle will be equal to this. That is, exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to interior opposite angle. And so will be these two angles. Now, we will consider the same two triangle. Let me the first consider the triangle here. The triangle which I already mentioned here is triangle PAC. And the other triangle is triangle PDB. Now here I can write this, say this is angle one and this being angle two. Let me mark this as angle one and angle two. So angle one is equal to angle D and angle two is equal to angle B. And the property here is that exterior angle of cyclic quadrilateral. Now, once you prove these two angles equal, now you can write these two triangles as similar. Let's say if I write first PAC, what we can see that P corresponds to P only, A corresponds to D, and C corresponds to B. So this is similar again by A is similarity. So once you prove these two triangles similar, you can write their sides proportional. That is PA here over PD, PA over PD is equal to PC, that is first and last letter, which is PC corresponds to PB. And from here, if you do cross multiplication, you are going to get PA into PB is equal to PC into PD. That's how you can prove these two questions.